I've got my coffee, it happens to be an eggnog latte that my husband just picked up for me this morning. And I've got my festive red nails on and we are just gonna start right in. I'm gonna take you all the way from your day to day, whether it be work or school or just mom on the go look, all the way to the touch-ups that you need to, to get to one of those holiday parties that are happening so frequently this time of year. It's such an exciting time, but uh, sometimes you don't have all the time in the world to add those extra touches to make you feel special in the evening. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I have a monster spot on my chin this morning. I picked it. Don't ever pick anything on your face. You really shouldn't do it. But I did, and so I'm kind of reaping the consequences. It's sticking around. So I'm gonna show you actually how to pinpoint conceal um, any sort of blemish that you might have on your face so it disappears. So as normal, I've got my skincare all taken care of on my face. The next step we're gonna get into is a primer. Now a primer is just going to help um, give you that longevity of your foundation or the base that you have on your face. Um, I showed you in my last video one that has a little bit of a sheen to it, um, a little bit of that glow that would be under your foundation. Today I'm going to show you one that is specific for hydrating and making sure that your face um, is really plump and well nourished before you put on that base. I have a sample of it, but I have had a full uh, full size of it before. It's from Too Faced and it's called <laughs> the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. So this time of year, we're all drinking wine and we're having fun and we're getting into those festive cocktails. Well, alcohol does nothing to your face. And uh, so this what this is gonna do is it's just going to hydrate um, your face the next morning if you've had that one too many glasses of wine like myself. <laughs> so we're gonna put a little bit of that on our fingers, just like that. And we're gonna pat it all over our face. Just make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies with this one. You wanna make sure that this is gonna be everywhere that your foundation's gonna be. Perfect, okay, the next step. We are going to play with a foundation today that is super long lasting. So this is from Estee Lauder. It's their Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. Now, the fun thing about this is that it comes in a stick, so it's very portable. So at the end of the day, before your party, you wanna to touch up some places on your face. It's really easy to do with this product. So you take off the lid. It's got a sponge tip applicator like built right in. And then all you have to do is wind up the product. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wind it up. So there's a little bit there. And we're gonna dot that all over our face. Now because I'm still at home, first thing in the morning and I'm applying my makeup, I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender. But what you would do is just pop this in your purse and take it with you. And it's perfect for touch-ups on the go. It really easily blends with that sponge. Okay, so I've blended all of that foundation in and I'm noticing that today I'm especially a little bit more red. So I wanna address that and take it down a little bit so that it's a bit more of an even skin tone finish. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my favorite concealer. This is the Too Faced Born With Me Naturally Radiant Concealer. It's one of my favorites and I'm just gonna pop that just where I'm still seeing some redness pop, like show through. Okay, I'm happy with that. The next thing I'm going to show you is a different um, eye primer that you can use. This one is from Benefit. It's the Stay Don't Stray. It's another one of my favorites. The interesting thing about this is that it has a bit of a neutral um, beige undertone. So what it does is it just helps to cover your eyelids. You'll notice I have some darkness and some veins. Um, so this will just help give you a really even skin tone finish. So you can see it almost looks like a little bit like a concealer. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and then I'm just gonna dab that in on my eyelid. And almost immediately, you're gonna see 
that it just gives my eyelid a really nice base to work with, a really nice base to put on my eyeshadow and make it look flawless. Yeah, like that's a huge difference between those two eyelids. So just make sure that's really well blended. Get right into the corner of your eye if that's where you've got some darkness like I do. Okay, so our eyelids are prepped and ready to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to address this little spot on my face. Okay, so when I say pinpoint concealing, what I mean is to take your concealer, your favorite concealer, put a little bit on your hand. Your hand almost becomes like a paint palette. <laughs> By the time I'm done makeup, my hand is like covered in swatches and colors and foundation. Take a very pointed little brush. This one happens to be from Real Technique. It's drugstore, so you can find it in any one of your drugstores. It's got a fine little tip to it. Oops. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna dip that in your concealer and then you're just gonna paint your spot. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring today and I'm gonna use a different product than I did in my last video. Um, I wanna be able to try to introduce you guys to different products as I go along and try not to use the same thing over and over again so it gives you guys some options. First coffee break. Mm. Today it's minus 15 outside. Yeah, super cold, and it's supposed to be super cold for the rest of the week. So we're in the deep freeze. <laughs> so what I wanna do is be able to give my skin a little bit of glow, a little bit of like, not look like I'm so pasty white. So this product is from Kevin O'Quarn, and it is his sculpting powder, which basically is a fancy word for contour. It's this gorgeous um, matte brown, uh, a little bit more on the cool tone. I'm going to take my favorite brush. This is from Eco Tools, and it looks like an oval. And it's going to get right into um, my cheekbone area and really define it. So I'm going to dab it in the product, dab off the excess, and then just with a light hand. And the way that you can apply product very, very minimally is to hold your brush at the very end. If you're going to hold it back here, you're going to be way more light handed with the brush. If, as opposed to holding it right here where you're gonna be very, very, um, just more firm with the brush. So I take it back here and I go in. Okay, that looks scary. Don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. I'm gonna take my trusted eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna go fill them in. Okay, next, cheeks. So again, we're talking about longevity of our makeup. We wanna make sure that it lasts us from early in the morning when we're getting ready for work or school right into a cocktail party or evening party. Um, we want our makeup to last and look good the whole time. So I have chosen, this is from Tarte again, it's their Flush Cheek Stain. So it's a stick. It looks really dark, but I'll show you how it goes on in just a second. You just push it up, and what I do, now there's different ways you can apply this, but what I do is I just dot this right on the apples of my cheek, and then I use my fingers to kind of help blend it into the right place. It can be really subtle, or you could really build it up. So what I'm gonna do is then just take my finger and make sure that it's in the right spot and blend it in. And it's just given me that really nice flush on my cheek, but this is gonna last all day. It's not gonna go anywhere. So if you're worried about some of your powder blushes and maybe it fading over the course of the day, I would highly suggest looking at getting a stain because this will stay in place and lock into your cheeks for the whole day. So you can see it looked really intense, like in the stick, but once you put it on, it's really beautiful. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to this side. Blend it right up, right up onto your cheekbones. Perfect, yeah, I really like that. 
What I've selected today is a palette again from the drugstore, super affordable. It's from Milani and it's their um, Everyday Eye Palette. And this is in 01, the must have neutrals. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna open it here and show you. Um, it's a beautiful palette that you can put on in the morning, but then you can also tuck it into your purse. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's got some beautiful darker colors here that if you want to just pop into that washroom at work or at school, um, it comes with a brush and you can just touch up your eyes and make them a little bit more intense for your evening event. So it's kind of cool that it's like super slim, super compact, pop that in your purse and you're good for touch ups down the road. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take, uh, let me just see, I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the brush that comes in the palette. Um, so it's a two-ended brush, one's a little bit flatter and one is more domed shape for really good for getting in the crease. So I'm going to start with this, um, it's the second to the left, um, it's a beautiful kind of tan taupe color and I'm going to put that, I'm going to work that into my crease and I'm going to use the domed end, ended brush, always knock off the excess and get right in there into your crease. I haven't used these brushes before, so this is gonna be first time using them. It's quite nice, it's actually blending out really beautifully, and it's kind of really allowing me to get right into my crease. Okay, so we're gonna take the flat end of the brush, and what color am I gonna use? I'm gonna use this pretty pink on the end, um, right up here. So we're gonna take that, always dab off the excess, I'm gonna put that right on my eyelid. Such a beautiful, um, it's got a beautiful sheen to it. Really nice, really pigmented, really blends out really beautifully. For a drugstore palette, I think maybe this was like $13. It's really good value for your money because you're getting, how many shades are you getting? You're getting six shades and a little brush and it's just perfect. So I'm just gonna get that right in the center of my eyelid. I'm not really focusing on either end of my eyelid. I'm really just wanting to pack that in right in the middle. And just when I close my eyes, what that does is it just gives that little pop of sheen. So you can see that there, it just kind of helps to keep them looking more awake and more open and that looks amazing. Like I could go out just like that with a bit of mascara on and that would be beautiful for daytime. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build up this outside corner a little bit more because I know I've got a party to go to later in the evening. I just wanna build up the outside um, so I don't have to do as much later in terms of a touch up. So I'm gonna take this darker color right here. I'm gonna put it on the domed end side of the brush and I'm just gonna really just build up this outer corner make it a little bit more defined and I'm just gonna take it on that it's almost like a triangle that I'm trying to build here in this outer corner and you can see that's added a little bit of nice intensity there on that outside corner without it making, without it looking too harsh. Okay, so for daytime, what I'm gonna do is put on some mascara and a nude lip, and I'm basically ready to go once we put a little bit of highlight on, of course. So I'm gonna do that now. One of the best steps is obviously curling your eyelashes. Just helps to make your whole eye look more open and awake. And I'm gonna use a new mascara today, guys, just to show you another one from the drugstore, another option that you might wanna try. This one is from Rimmel and it's called the Scandal Eyes Retro Glam. Amazing mascara. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna budge during the day. Already, like that's a huge difference. And just makes my eye look so much more awake and alert. I'm gonna go in with a second coat. Amazing. We're gonna do the other side. I'm gonna keep <clears throat> mascara off my bottom lashes during the day. I like it to look really simple down there, but I'll show you my trick for transitioning it into the evening and I'll show you what I do. Next, we're gonna go in and add our little bit of highlight. So you're gonna take your highlight stick and you're gonna dab it 
right on that high cheekbone. And take it up into a V. So amazing. I mean, this product is just so, so, so amazing. My two favorite products, the pinkier one and the regular concealer, and we're just gonna work this in under our eyes. Amazing. Concealer's done. It looks so great. Take it up here if you've still got some redness there. Take it around your nose. Use up the excess if you've got any excess on your fingers. Beautiful. Concealer is done. Okay, so to finish off our daytime look, I'm gonna take a nude lipstick. This is from Rimmel. This is part of the, um, is it the Kate Moss? Yeah, it's the Kate Moss collection. It's number 41. And I'm just gonna put that on my lips. Daytime look complete. You're ready to like hop out the door, go to your school, go to your work, be that mom on the go. You look pulled together, ready to go. You know you've got longevity makeup on your face, ready to tweak in the evening if you have to. So these are the few things that I would pack in my purse so that I would be ready to go. First of all, I would take the eyeshadow palette. The brush is missing, but the brush would be in there. I would pack that in my purse. The second thing I would pack is a bright lipstick. I'm gonna show you about this color in just a moment. The next thing I would pack is a black liner. I'll show you what to do with that. And then I would also pack your concealer, whichever one you used under your eye, whichever one you wanna to use to kind of like touch up your blemishes or other spots on your face. And last thing is a highlighting stick. I'll show you how I use this as well. So, that so let's start with the eyeshadow palette. You see, I'm gonna open it up. You're gonna go into this dark color, which in this palette happens to be black, but maybe in some palettes it's a dark brown. So you're gonna take the domed end of your brush, dip it in, and you're gonna smudge out your lash line a bit. So you're gonna get really close, and you're gonna smudge it up. And you're gonna put just as much product as you feel comfortable with. But you're just gonna build up that outer part of your eye, just a little bit. So just like that, I'm just gonna stick to this outer corner just to give yourself a little bit of extra smokiness. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Boom, right there, you've added a little bit more glamour to your eyeshadow look. That's all you need to do. The next thing you're gonna take is that eyeliner that you've packed in your purse. For me, this is the Hourglass. It's the 1.5 millimeter, tiny, tiny, tiny nib um, eyeliner and what I'm gonna do with this and it's gonna seem super scary and and it's not it's really okay you're gonna take this and you're gonna do the the inner rim of your eye right underneath so look at this you're gonna look up I don't know if that's picking up on camera but I'm just doing the inner upper rim of my eye underneath the eyelashes do you see how it's given this eye like a little bit more dimension, a little bit more oomph, but it doesn't look like you've lined your eye. It's a pretty cool trick. So what I like about this particular product is it's so tiny and skinny, it just gets into that area really easily. And it doesn't take very long. I'm giving you tips and tricks that you can literally do in the bathroom in five minutes. So I've rimmed the upper part of both my eyes. Now, if you wanted to do a little bit more of an oomph, oh, I got black on my face. Don't worry, that happens. Um, grab a Kleenex, wipe it off. If you wanted to do a little bit more, you could rim, you just turn up your eyeliner a little bit and you rim the bottom part of your eyes. So right here, this is just the waterline and you're just beefing up your look a little. Nothing too major, but you've given your eyes that incredible definition that just takes you right nicely into the evening. So that's all I did. I'm just gonna touch up this side a little bit. Boom, you're done. So with the concealer that you brought in your purse, just take it and, and update and put a little bit more on. So if some of it has worn off under your eyes, buff that up. If, you're, if, your, spots, if your spot's starting to show through, buff that up and then you're ready to go. Mine's looking okay right at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it. Actually, I'm gonna just put a little bit on my chin. 
And because we don't have our beauty blender with us, we're just gonna take our finger and blend it in. Just like that. Okay, the next thing I asked to bring in the bag was this dual end highlighter stick. So this is by Jane Irondale. And on one end, it's got like a pinky highlight. And on the end, it's got like a pearl highlight. So what I would use this for is to buff up the highlighter on your cheek. So if you wanted to intensify that, or you could take this into your inner corner of your eye and buff that up. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently dab that into the corner of my eye, make it look even a little bit more um, awake, just little bits. You're just adding little tiny things to your face to make you a little bit more holiday party appropriate. So we're just gonna buff that up. So yeah, what that did is it just put a little bit of extra shine right in the corner of my eye. Perfect. Now, if you wanted to, I didn't include this um, necessarily as an option in your bag, but you could bring along your mascara and you could do, you could buff up the bottom part of your lash line. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you. I don't wear, I rarely wear mascara down there. I will only do it if it's a really fancy party. Um, but what I do is I take your, your mascara wand and take the tip of it, make sure you got all the excess off the, off the brush, and then I just run it along. Just like that. I'm really careful so that I'm not touching the skin underneath my eyes. Boom, it's just added a little bit of extra glam. So that one's done, and I'm gonna do the other side. I didn't dip it back in the tube or anything, I just used what product was on the brush. Just make sure there's no clumps, and the other side's done. So that just gives a little bit of extra oomph to your eyes. Okay, so now comes the fun part, the bright, bold, beautiful lip. Now, in addition to just a lipstick in your purse, you could carry a lip liner. Um, I. I'm not choosing to use a lip liner today, but you definitely could. Um, that would just amp up your lips a little bit more. So this color is 106. It is the Kate Moss lipstick from Rimmel. It's a beautiful like cherry red. Um, a little bit pinkish, a little bit reddish, but kind of perfect for a holiday look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Again, nobody's perfect. So if you're handy, grab a Kleenex. Another thing that is often in my purse are these uh, makeup remover Q-tips from Sephora. They're amazing. Basically, you crack the stick and then it allows the makeup remover to get to the end of the nib. Perfect for touch-ups. I'm gonna use just a dry one. And I'm just gonna make sure that that line is super precise. And you're done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, quick little touch-ups to get you to that holiday party um, when you've been at work all day or busy all day or doing what you need to do during the day. Um, it's just amazing what like a, a lipstick will do and a little bit of liner you're ready to go to your party. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel. You'll uh, get lots of fun content. Um, I've got lots and lots of great ideas for videos coming up down the road. So I hope that you stay with me and continue to enjoy my content. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.